A national nonprofit that's using a bus tour to fight for reproductive care makes a stop in Shreveport today. NBC6's Isabella Chang shares more. Caitlin Joshua recalls bleeding profusely with doctors questioning if she was pregnant. She was left to pass her miscarriage without medical help. That fall of 2022, at around 11 weeks pregnant, I miscarried. And when I was seeking um, medical health care, um, um, reproductive health care. Joshua is from Baton Rouge and joined the Free and Just Ride to Decides national bus tour that arrived in Shreveport on Friday to protect reproductive rights and for people to share their stories. When I was in my early 20s, I was um, an alcoholic with a cocaine addiction. And so I was very grateful um, to be a resident here and to be able to come to this clinic that we're here today. The tours event was hosted at the former Hope Medical Group for Women, which provided abortion care for 42 years before being forced to close due to Louisiana's strict abortion ban. I was unable to get that care and that was because Directly, it was a direct impact of uh, the DOP decision coming down. Their experiences fuel the Ride to Decide tour. Their next stop, Florida. Isabella Cheng, NBC6. Now, in response to the Ride to Decide visit, Shreveport Pregnancy Center founder Kelly Christine offered this statement. Since the overturn of Roe v. Wade, Shreveport Pregnancy Center has been a place of refuge. Women who felt abortion was their only option have found the tools and courage needed to choose life for their pre-born babies.